What's up guys, it's Caitlin B and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing, finally, my PR first impressions get ready with me video. And I'm also throwing in a little q and A. I I asked you guys right before this video to send in some DMs from Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram if you wanna be in the next video. This is a full face of products uh, that I've never tried before, pretty much, except for a couple. All of them have been sent to me from PR stuff. So thank you, uh, Teddy Brands, who have like sent me things. This is not a sponsored video by any means, but I just thought it'd be really fun because a lot of these I've never even heard of before, let alone tried. So I was like, why not do this on camera so that we can both to discover new things, some products that I absolutely love, maybe a new holy grail item, and some products that I definitely do not recommend. So this is definitely not going to be me like kissing ass to any brands by any means. Um, just because these have been sent to me in PR does not mean I'm obligated to post anything about it or say anything about these products. I don't know, I just thought this would be a fun video so we can both discover new things. Why not? So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I did this look and what products I used to achieve this, then keep on watching. Okay guys, I have my big box of goodies. I'm so excited to finally be trying these things. And I was like, girl, you can't touch this until this video, except I did try a couple of things because I could not resist. We are going to be doing skincare. I get sent skincare most of anything else. Do I put on a moisturizer first or a sunscreen? I don't know. I normally wouldn't put on this many products on top of each other that I'm going to today. But for the sake of this video, I'm totally going to be applying like many layers of things because I just want to try everything. The first thing I'm going to do is apply a sunscreen. I think this should be the first product. This one really intrigues me. It's by the brand Amavara. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've never heard of this brand in my life, but I was really excited when they sent me this because first of all, this box is 100% recycled, cruelty-free, reef safe, and 80 minutes water resistant. So I freaking love when brands are eco-friendly. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to squeeze out, okay. It doesn't smell like sunscreen, so that's kind of a good sign. Most sunscreens, I don't love the scent of. I mean, like, who really loves the scent of sunscreen? I don't know anyone. It's a transparent mineral sunscreen. Okay, boom, that's why it smells like nothing. And also, it's kind of an off-white color, which is nice, so probably won't make me super white. Or maybe it will. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, this is definitely a tacky sunscreen. Maybe I should like warm it up between my fingers first. I'll try that. Okay, that definitely helped. Hopefully this sits well under my makeup because sometimes when it's mineral, it will like bunch up when I put on my foundation. But I think the foundation I'm using today will actually be okay because it is very dewy. So the first question is from Beth and she wants to know why did I decide to go vegan? Meat doesn't settle with her, but she's too scared to cut out cheese out of her life for good. That's a valid statement because there aren't really that many good vegan cheeses out there yet. They're making some. Next time you're at Whole Foods, go check out the Miyoko's mozzarella cheese. It comes in like a little ball, like actual mozzarella cheese would. Ever since I discovered this cheese, oh my gosh, it has changed my life, you guys. <laughs> It actually melts like mozzarella cheese too, which most vegan cheeses do not melt. It's amazing. So highly recommend you try that one. To answer the other part of your question, basically I just kept thinking about it because I kept seeing it. I was being attracted to it in a weird way. Like I kept seeing videos or ads or it was just on my radar all the time. And I was like, I have to look into this because I'm a very curious person. So it's like if something keeps catching my eye for something, I'm just gonna check it out naturally. I decided to watch some videos. I watched the Paul McCartney's glass, uh, if slaughterhouses had glass walls, and that really changed my perspective on things. But it wasn't until I think Kalel made the video of like why she went vegan, and I just decided to give it a good shot because I'd been watching her videos for ever. I don't know, I think it was that video that really triggered something in me. Really looking into doing my own research on the health benefits and seeing how it prevents so many diseases and has helped so many people reverse their cancers and diabetes. So yeah, it was basically just doing my own research and making the conclusion for myself that this was something that I wanted to do. So that is why I decided to go vegan. Next product I'm going to apply is the Dr. Robux No Worries Hydrating Face Moisturizer. I love the packaging on this. It is a bomb and also the products, like all their products look super sleek. I love a good aesthetic. So this is just a facial moisturizer with hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid, macadamia oil, and vitamin E. Whenever I see the word acid, I'm like, 
good to be putting on my face like after and I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna start with two pumps and see. Ooh, this is also kind of thick. This honestly smells more like sunscreen than the actual mineral sunscreen smell like. It doesn't say on here that it has sunscreen in it, but why do you smell like sunscreen? I like the consistency of this. I like how it's sunk into my skin. Um, I don't love the smell of this, but other than that, I like it. Okay, the next product is one that I have already tried because I was just so intrigued by this product. I had never heard of this brand before and I've never tried a CC cream before, I don't think. And I was like, there's no way this is going to work. I was shook, you guys. I was shook at how this actually melted into my skin. So this is, oh my gosh, I'm applying like so many sunscreens to my face today. <laughs> this has um, SPF 25 in it, but it is a CC cream. It is by Airborean. The color is like a white clear and it actually like morphs into your skin color. I always think those products are so gimmicky though when they are like clear or a different color and they say they're going to magically transform into your skin tone. Like I just feel like they never actually do that. Um, this actually pretty much does that. I mean, it's a little pinky compared to my actual skin tone, but I'm just gonna show you guys how this works because this is like insanity. And I've been using this for a while now. I like to just apply this to the back of my hand and then work it in with a kabuki. Look at this, you guys. This is literally white. And then there's like little specks on that. It looks like a goose egg or something. Oh my God, that's so weird. So I like to just apply a little bit at a time and then I can like add more to the back of my hand if I need to, which I always do. What's the biggest change in your work life since moving back to Minnesota? So if you guys are curious as to where I am right now, I am in Minnesota and I talked about that in my life update video. So go check that out. I will put that in the info bar above. Biggest change in my work life? That's actually a really good question. It's basically the fact that I don't have an office because I work from home. Obviously I do blogging and YouTube full time. Not having like my own workspace has been a really weird adjustment for me. Um, I like to have my own space and have you know, a place for all of my stuff. And most of my things are in storage, including my desktop computer, which I use to edit like all of my videos. It just has way more storage on there and it's so good for editing. Like the interface is amazing. And another aspect is it's been a lot harder to find um, spots for like my Instagram and blogging. When it comes to like shooting and like finding new places to shoot my Instagram photos, it's like I can't like shoot the same background every single photo, you know what I mean? Like that would just get super boring. And in LA, there's so many places to film. I mean, LA is massive and there's always something going on where you can be taking photos and there's always so many events going on. That's another thing. There's no events going on in Minnesota that pertain to my job. I've had to turn down quite a few jobs just because I'm not in LA. Side note, isn't this beautiful? I've just been wearing this like every single day in the summer. I keep gravitating towards this versus my foundation. Also the SPF in it, like, Done. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I would definitely go to Bali. That's like number one on my list right now. I have not had any concealer sent to me in a very long time. So I'm just gonna be using my tried and true shape tape. I freaking love this stuff. I actually just got a new bottle because I went through my other one. I've been meaning to try their foundation but I have not gotten around to it because I always just get freaked out trying new foundations. So I like to use a beauty blender to press in this concealer because baby girl is thick. Last night I had a dream that my best friend gave birth to a boy and within 10 minutes of being born, this baby was able to walk and also it just like grew to like a toddler size, but it totally skipped the crawling phase. And she was like, oh yeah, that runs my family. Like a bunch of kids just me skip the crawling phase. We go right to walking and I was like, yeah, but this baby was born 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna pretend that I'm setting my face with the translucent powder, but I forgot to bring it. So I'm just like patting my face with a brush because it feels really hot. I'm going to apply my eyebrows now. I'm gonna put on my brows uh, because they don't exist. This is one of the products that was not sent to me recently, but it was sent to me a while ago and I've actually gone through so many of these. Oh, by the way, this is Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil and this has been like my holy grail brow pencil. What are your two goals that you have for yourself? One for this week and one for this year year. I like that question. Every single month I set goals um, at the beginning of every month for the entire month 
and then I'll set weekly goals and sometimes daily goals just because if I have a lot of things I need to do, um, it keeps me on task and it keeps me motivated to get things done because I feel accomplished when I can like, cross things off. I think it's really important to have smaller goals pertaining to the bigger goal, you know what I mean? But one of my goals has been to upload every Monday and Thursday. <laughs> I asked you guys on Instagram a while ago and you said you wanted one video a week as opposed to two or three, but I just feel like sometimes I want to upload more. So I already posted a video on Monday and I'm hoping to get this video up by Thursday. I mean, one of my goals, obviously, this isn't like work related, but is to find my like dream apartment or townhouse or whatever it is. You know, I don't want to settle for something and I want to find something that's perfect for us right now, has enough space for us to work, is light and airy, and something that is within our budget would be amazing because in LA that's very hard to find something affordable. Okay, so I just set my brows. I actually really like this stuff for a while. I didn't really love it on its own because it's not like enough. Next, I'm going to apply the Marc Jacobs Undercover Eye Primer. This is like a coconut eye primer. I don't know what that means. I've actually been using this for a while, but it was a PR product, so technically it can go in this video. If you guys have watched my tutorials for a while, you know I like randomly like to switch from my eyebrows all the way to back to my face and then like back to my eyes while my eye primer is setting. I don't know, I'm just weird. Okay. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I've actually used this product in the past. I actually usually apply my contour first, but I guess I'm applying my blush first today. I honestly don't usually apply blush anymore. I just go for my contour and then my highlight, but I honestly love this and I kind of forgot how amazing this color was. It just gives you such a natural flush. I don't even know if this is showing up on camera, but looks nice in person. The only contour type product I've been sent recently was this NYX Wonder Stick. This is a highlight and contour stick. Now I've used another color and I absolutely loved it, but the only one that I have on hand here um, was this tone. And I'm a little nervous about it because it looks kind of orangey. And I feel like this is going to not blend out as well into a color that I would like. So <laughs> well, we're just gonna try it. I feel like this would be the best Ew, do I have hair on that? I feel like this would be the best brush, and if not, I'm gonna go back to my beauty blender. I normally go for contours that are more um, gray-toned, but this brush actually blends it out really, really well. I kind of forgot. I haven't used this product in a really long time because I've just been using my powders. I was also asked, what is my next travel destination? Alex and I are actually going to, we're booking this tomorrow, our New York City trip, and we're going to see my dancer friend um, who I got to see perform with Pink. She's on tour with Pink right now, which is like not casual at all. But she and I and Alex are meeting up with her boyfriend who is performing on Broadway with Mean Girls. So I am freaking excited because um, Mean Girls is my favorite movie. So <laughs> I normally put contour like on my cheekbones, but I feel like this is way too orange for me to put on my cheekbones. It's just gonna look, or not on my cheekbones, on my jawline, what am I saying? This is also the highlight stick. This is actually really pretty highlight. I like this. Sometimes they're like really fake looking. I'm gonna blend this in with my finger because I don't want to lift up too much product. I love that. That is so pretty. Yes, NYX. Working it. Okay, I'm also gonna put this on my nose. This is Urban Decay's Naked Petite Heat. I don't know if they sell this. Is this like something you can buy or is this just like a PR sample of the actual heat palette? I'm not exactly sure, but it comes with six shades. These are all matte shades. I love matte shades so much, but these are definitely more warm tone than I'm used to. I normally go for like something this dark and then like cool tone browns. This is a little saucy for me. This brings me back to when I used to do themed makeup tutorials. So I'm going to first apply the inhale shade under my brows. This is just the lightest. I'm actually gonna bring this down further to my crease. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a makeup tutorial in so long. This is so, not this is like really a tutorial to get ready with me, but still. I'm gonna apply the same color to the center of my lid right here. 
Let's answer another question while I do my eyeballs. How has veganism impacted your life? Do you feel more empathy and overall happiness in general? I love this question. This is so sweet. Yeah, honestly, it's made me a lot more empathetic, but also losing my dad has also made me a lot more empathetic. I've always considered myself to be empathetic, but it's kind of hard to distinguish between sympathetic and empathetic until you actually go through something, you know, similar to the other person. I've just become more empathetic in general over over the past couple years. I will literally watch commercials and I will just bawl my eyes out all the time now. And I think going vegan has just definitely made me more passionate in general. How has it impacted your life? Yeah, it's just definitely made me more aware. It's made me a more intelligent consumer for sure. I'm, you know, way more apt to reading labels. I have to. For me, it's like I've done so much research now over the years and there's still so much to learn. I love learning about it. Find new ways that I can be a better consumer and, you know, be less wasteful. Like it's just kind of spiraled into all these other outlets into my life. Like I never used to care or think about how much wasteful packaging there was. You know, that's not like a vegan thing, but it's definitely just made me think about more things and that's going on in this world that I can help with and, you know, reduce my footprint, I guess. It's made me think beyond myself. It's made me less selfish, I guess. It's impacted my life truly though in so many ways. I'm going to be doing a two year vegan update video for you guys and I will discuss this more in that video. It's made me so much more mentally clear. It's made me feel healthier. I'm not bloated all the time. How do we like this eyeshadow? I feel like it's a little red. I haven't been sent any liquid liner, which is all I use to apply on my top lash line pretty much. So I'm just gonna be using my tried and true. Can you guys guess it? Can you guys guess it? Maybelline line stiletto. That's right, ladies and gents. I'm gonna go apply this off camera because it kind of takes me a while to do my eyeliner. Just applied my eyeliner and now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. This is their really black eyeliner pencil. They sent it to me. It's a little smushed. There we go. No, but I was so excited when I saw this in a PR package because this was like my favorite holy grail eyeliner pencil. Do you guys see like how intense and black that is. Okay, the tip just fell off. <laughs> Do you guys see the difference that this makes on my eyeballs though? I feel like this just makes me look so much more like fierce. I just love it. Obviously black makes you like your eyes smaller, but I just like it, okay? Good. That should be good. I feel like it only takes a couple swipes to get like that full intense black. Now I'm going to be trying the Lancome uh, Le Curler. This is their curling, I was gonna say curling wand. I'm pretty sure this is from the same PR package. This is the eyelash curler and this is the waterproof Monsieur Big mascara. You guys probably know if you've watched my videos for a long time that I am like tried and true to my CoverGirl mascara and it's really hard for me to like any other mascara. So I'm probably not gonna like this. I'm just gonna throw it out there, but I will give her a fair shot. That curler actually worked very well. Okay, maybe this isn't a fair shot because I totally have some mascara still left over on my eyelashes that I forgot to take off last night. Ew, I'm disgusting. But we're still gonna try. Okay, so this formula seems kind of wet already, which I'm nervous about because wet mascaras get all over my eyeshadow. Holy shit, this is bright. Wet mascaras, I feel like, just get all over my already done makeup. It just ruins everything. Oh my God, you guys, this is why I need an assistant because I just filmed the rest of this video and the intro outro with my microphone completely off. So here we are. <laughs> my makeup is now done. I think the last time uh, I had audio, I was putting on my mascara, which I'm not a huge fan of, but again, I am not the like right person to review this mascara because I did have some leftover mascara on. Definitely don't trust my opinion on this product because <laughs> it's gonna look like spider lashes no matter what. But I'm curious if any of you have tried this Monsieur Big waterproof mascara. Cause I love waterproof mascaras normally, but this one seems a little liquidy for my taste. So I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Also for my lips, I just applied my Kylie lip liner um, all over my lips. So not just as a liner, but actually as like a base. And then I applied the uh, Lancome, I don't know what shade this is, 202. This is the uh, lip gloss. I will put every product that I'm talking about in this video in the description box below and the shade. Um, after this video so you guys can go check it out. But I applied this just kind of like on the center of my lips right here. And I freaking love this, you guys. I actually, this is one of the products that I've tried 
um, a couple months ago actually, but this was still sent to me in PR, so I'm including in this video because I haven't been sent any other lip products really. Oh, you also missed. <laughs> so the last product that I put on is this Atelier Clone. I'm probably butchering that name, but when I was in London and I saw this store and this actual like little product uh, trio in the window and I was like, oh my God, I forgot they sent this to me. So I came back and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to include this in this video because I still hadn't tried it yet. But I guess I just tried this like two minutes ago when I when I filmed this, so technically. How cute is this though? I absolutely love when brands take the time to personalize things. I just think it's so sweet and just above and beyond. And I absolutely love this. So actually this one says just my name, Caitlin. The middle one just says their brand name. And then this one right here says at Caitlin B, which is my Instagram handle. So go give your girl a follow if you haven't. I sprayed myself with this one first, which is an iris uh, scent. It's like floral and it actually smells really good. I'm normally not a huge floral perfume scent lover. This one actually was really light and airy. I really liked this one, which was surprising. And this one, definitely my favorite because this one is like a vanilla scent. Not overly sweet either. I'm such a like, I need a neutral scent. You know, it's not overbearing or it really bugs me, gives me a headache throughout the day. And also this is like such a good size to just throw into your purse. I think that was everything that I talked about though that you guys missed. So sorry you couldn't see that in real time, but I'm an idiot. But that is about everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little PR unboxing slash first impression slash get ready with me slash Q&A video. <laughs> How many things could I fit into one video? That is what we did today, folks. But this was super fun for me. Let me know what you guys thought of this video in the poll above. Do we want more videos like this? You know, I just think it's really cool that I get the opportunity to try these things. So I'm so incredibly grateful that uh, these brands think I'm worthy to be sent product or be on their list like I'm a peasant but thank you brands if any of you are watching again I'm going to list all of the products that I talked about in the description box below if you guys are curious and want to check them out I also do a lot of PR unboxing videos in real time on my Instagram stories so if you guys love these or want to discover more products all the time or my first impressions sometimes I will even do like swatching or testing a product live on my Instagram story so definitely go make sure that you go follow me over there at Caitlin B if you have not already because it's a good time over there other than that though I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time I will see you guys in my next video